Hey YouTube, it's Jerry here. I want to do a little short video on something that I call Hunter's Remorse. And all you guys that shoot and kill animals all feel this. It's not a good or a bad thing, it's a natural thing, I think, um, that hunters feel. I was talking to my wife the other day as we were driving down the road, and I don't remember what got us into the conversation. And I told her, I said, I remember every single animal I've ever shot. It's really strange. I remember the very first little bird, little chickadee that I shot sitting by the swimming pool in a place that I used to live in California. I was, a, I don't know, 10 years old with my pellet gun, BB gun at the time, a Crossman 760, I think. And I remember all the little birds. I remember the first deer I shot. It was up behind the house, shot him and shot her, actually, it was a doe in the head and it rolled right down on my feet. And my dad said, okay, you shot it, you clean it. I remember every single kill, every bird, every squirrel, every rabbit. Um, it's really strange. And I think everybody does. I think it's part of human nature. I think it's the way God made us. You know, I was, I was trying to explain this to her that, you know, you kill something, you feel bad, and you do it anyway. I don't feel bad when I shoot a blue jay. I don't feel bad when I, when, you know, I don't feel like I shouldn't have done it. I don't feel like I shouldn't kill a squirrel to eat or feed to my dogs. I don't feel bad when I shoot a, uh, a deer and it's going to feed me and my wife for, you know, a few months. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad when I'm out target practicing and I shoot a woodpecker out of a tree. I, it doesn't mean I don't remember him. I shot a bird, a uh, robin, down in the ditch down here by my house, uh, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. Shot him with my 9mm rifle from about 20 yards. Still remember doing it. Shot a, I mean, I can go through the whole list. I remember the squirrels that I shot. Remember the shots, even the ones that I know I shot, I know I killed and I can't find. I remember them. Maybe not crystal clear, but if I think they're there, I can dig it up. So I call this hunter's remorse. It's not a good or a bad thing. Uh, it's just the way that we're programmed. It's the way we are designed. You know, you don't feel um, upset. Or maybe you do feel upset. You still do it. Otherwise, you're not a hunter. You know, you kill for a reason. It's either sport some guys go out and shoot squirrels as sport. Um, food. People shoot squirrels to eat. Dog food. That's me. I shoot squirrels for dog food. Their skins. I stuff their heads. You know, I mean, it's there, there's a process there. You know, so we all think about it. Everybody. You know, Christmas Day, I woke up and I stuck my head out the back door and I saw a blue jay in the tree. I thought, I'm going to kill it. No, no, you know, it's Christmas not going to wreck his day on Christmas. Go figure that one out. You know, and I'm sure everybody has those same strange thoughts, you know. Certain times, certain days, certain animal. You know, you take aim, you're right there ready to pull the trigger, and you go, I'm just not going to wreck his day today. I'm not going to screw that up for him. So, anyway, I wanted to do that, you know, do this little short video thinking about, you know, I was thinking about that, and, uh, you know, my my hunter's remorse thing, you know. Um, I don't know. I'd like to know how you guys all think about that. And this Boston Pellet Gun Company, by the way. Um, I mentioned that on an earlier video. I want to say hi to him. He's He does some really good videos. Um, thanks for that. And uh, you guys, something else. My wife, she's got a new channel. It's called Sweet Pea. Um... She has her parrots. She has a couple of big macaws, uh, Pepin, Pippin and Pebbles, and she's training them. And actually, she does a really good job. You guys, go to her channel, check it out, subscribe. Um, it's enjoyable to watch. And my wife's beautiful, so that'll, you know, how that works. Anyway, um, so back to the hunters or more, you guys. I'm curious if the people that watch my videos feel the same way. Do you have hunter's remorse? Do you think about the animals that you've killed? Do you all remember the very first little bird, little chickadee, little sparrow that you shot? Or do you remember your first deer kill, your first hog kill? 
a bear kill. I mean, do you remember this stuff? Does it stick in your brain for ever and ever? I'm 62. Like I said, I think I shot my first bird when I was probably eight or nine. You know, sitting around. We live in a place called Sonol, California. And we used to go up and sit on the edge of the swimming pool in the bushes. And the birds would come down and get a drink in the corner. And uh, we'd blast them. <laughs> we'd, that was the end of the show. And I probably shot, a, I don't know, a couple hundred birds. We used to go squirrel hunting with our pellet guns and bows and arrows and eat the squirrels. And I've eaten blue jay, yes. I can say I've eaten blue jay before because when we were kids, we'd survive in the woods for a week or two weeks using pellet guns, BB guns, bows and arrows. And we were too young to have real rifles, you know, 10 or 11 or 12, and we lived in the hills, so it was fun. And uh, But I remember all those kills. And I was just wondering if you guys do too. Anyway, let me know. Put it, uh, leave a comment. And um, let me know what you do. Let me know if you, uh, if you feel that way too. And you have a good day. Keep shooting.